Cameron, I have one question I want to start with that the Lord put on my heart as I was processing all the things that you're doing is specifically around demonic oppression. Mm -hmm. And that's probably like, whoa, Tamara, let's go right there. Right that, baby. <laughs> but it's, it's in the entertainment and, and the media world. And mm -hmm. I really believe no different than like the marketplace and what God is doing in that space with Christ over career, which we'll get to mm -hmm. is the entertainment and media world have been known that like Hollywood has taken it over, that there's this demonic oppression over actors and actresses and the industry. What have you seen and how have you been able to combat that with truth? Well, you know, like you said, first of all, is that it's pervasive. You know what I'm saying? It covers every 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 area of life because the bottom yeah. line is that, you know, Satan wants to take us all down. So he's like an equal opportunity, you know, employer in that sense. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, so um, when it comes to the film and entertainment, the music and those those kind of things, we have to understand and know that that, his, that was his domain. Yeah. Okay? Oh, and so oh. when, when Lucifer was Lucifer, the way he was supposed to be, he was there to worship and to honor God, to, to be that, that expression and allow the word of God to be what he uh, cradled, if you would. Yeah. And so when you take a look at arts and entertainment and, and, and film and television and communications and, 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 and uh, worship and all those kind of things, music, that was his domain. And so that oppression or that desire to not let it go, even though he has been annihilated, uh, 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 the, the Bible says that, that, that Jesus came and divested himself wholly from, he spoiled principalities and powers. And even though all of that has been taken out of him and away from him, and he doesn't have authority in that place anymore, he still tries to con you into thinking that he does. Yeah. And so he uses you against yourself. And that's the only thing that he really has is deception and manipulation. And so when we fall down to that because we're not living according to truth, then he's got, you know, uh, the upper hand. But the bottom line is that we are called now to that place where we're supposed to program people. Uh, if, and I, if I could use this word that yeah. people may, may not like, but it's a, it, it, I have an understanding. The kingdom of God is supposed to colonize the earth. Mm. And so we're supposed to bring an atmosphere of God into the realm of everything secular. And so in that place of arts and entertainments and music and everything else is where we're supposed to breathe so much so the essence of Christ mm -hmm. that it programs every other arena around it. We know that if you're going to actually have a child remember something well, you lace it around music. Mm. And so if you want to have somebody remember, well, you put it on the screen and we may not be able to say what sermon we heard and everything else, but we can tell people what we saw on the screen, what happened, the emotion wow. that he evoked. Uh, and so all these things are where he used to have dominion. And so now God has sent us back into that realm to have the dominion that he wanted us to have in Genesis 1 and 2. And so that's what we do. That's what we're all about. And so that's what Christ over Career is. That's why we yeah. ask actors and producers and directors. And so I, I hope people understand that it's more and bigger than what they think. You know, right. I am here right. to entertain you. And that means I'm here to captivate your mind. And that's what the Ooh. whole thing really means.